we do have the official announcement here from Spurs. Uh, they say, we are delighted to announce that Oliver Skip has signed a new contract with the club that will run until 2027. The 21-year-old midfielder who is currently recovering from an injury has made 28 appearances for us across all competitions so far this season, making his competitive first-team debut in a Carabao Cup win over West Ham in October 2018. The academy graduate has gone on to make 52 appearances for us whilst enjoying a successful loan spell at Norwich City last season, where he featured in 45 of their 46 league games and was named in the PFA Championship team of the season. And that loan to Norwich, the, the best part of it is Tottenham fans hijacking their Man of the Match uh, Twitter poll every <laughs> week and him getting probably 46 of the 46 Man of the Match awards. But, Brains, th- that, that has been an incredible loan out for Tottenham. And we're looking at players like Jack Clark on a number of loans. We had Harvey White at Portsmouth last season. Kiana Tete is struggling a bit at Cheltenham or at Northampton is doing better at Cheltenham now. We're seeing a lot of these loan moves not really be fruitful. But when you're in a situation with one of these, like with Oliver Skip, when it works out, it makes all the others worth it. And do you think do you think it's been a master stroke from Spurs or was that potential always always in the player? I thought I thought it was a, a good idea last season when he went to Norwich. However, like Norwich isn't a, an easy team to go uh, as a midfielder. Like look at Billy Gilmore this season; he's not had a great time, and he's a phenomenal player. So it's not like you can just go and and to like a team that's in relegation battles and and show and show up. And he showed up like literally every game last season. He was a pleasure to watch. And it was a case of like I've never seen a player go away to a club and and have everyone just dying to get him back. You know, like. We're seeing some great stuff out of Troy Parrot. Like we're seeing some good things, but it's not like Skeppy last season. And when he came in, mm-hmm. that desire, that kind of like hope that everyone has, that is heavy for a player, a young player to come in and live up to. Because we were all thinking like, oh my god, he could, he could. What if he plays like that for us? And then he did. And it was like something weird where he went like, you know, the eight eight starts they have like him in the team we didn't lose a game with him in the team you know if he started like all these crazy things are happening so really like mad unfortunate that he's had this strange almost like mysterious x-files injury <laughs> like we need to call up Baldwin and scully and find out what's going on with his with his with his package you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, a new package, you know? but um yeah something, something has happened with that groin but it's one of those injuries like i feel like i had it last not the groin injury but the, these types of combinations like there's never really one thing they're all linked you know, so it could be internal, it could be quad, could be thigh, all linked to the groin, you know. So um, I really feel for him. But I think he, because c- of his age, I think he can come back stronger. And uh, God, I'm just like looking forward to getting him back playing again. Because if he was here now, how much would we always be going like, oh, okay, good. You know, Benton Kerr, Hoiberg, you know, rotate with him and Skippy, we'd be in a real strong position. That's mad that we think about that by one player. Look at his age. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's mad. And I don't know if you you guys feel the same, but I'm looking at the picture now and it seems as though he's either been in the gym loads or he's put on a bit of weight. I mean, he looks a bit more stockier uh, than than we've seen him in the past. I don't know if you guys uh, feel the same way. Yeah, I've seen I that picture of him. He looks strong, a bit big, doesn't he? Yeah. A stronger skip is a, is a scary thought for opposition mm. fans, I won't lie to you. Yeah, I know he, he does, though. He's been... Maybe this recovery injury is doing him better than, better than we thought, but... Look, it, it is it is massive news for Spurs, and the the stats spoke for themselves earlier in the season, and how much better we performed with Oliver Skip in the team, and how many more games we won with him in yeah. there, and um, it it just goes to show that we're not a one man team. You know, we're we're not over reliant on Kane and Son in ways that we were last season. There are other players in this team that are you know are, are doing their bit. There's Bentancur, there's Romero, there's Skip, there's Larice at times in that game against Aston Villa. There's Kulusevski. We we have so much going for us right now, and it's just about kind of plugging the holes. I know, I don't know if you saw the story from Matt Law a while ago, but um, as far as I tweeted, more to come. I was just of Skip. Okay, I thought there's more news coming. Um, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, Skip's unbelievable. Uh, and it's great that we've got to sign a new contract. Um, yeah, he's really important. Power, the players pulling their weight. <laughs> uh, and do you know what? Actually, this, this, this compilation, they, you know they just put up. amazing about Skip, uh, Skip is, is that him now under the tutelage of uh, Conte is actually incredible because you're seeing how like Conte can like bring things out of players like him with Conte for like a full season like that'll be incredible for that really well just for his his future going on to play for England maybe captain in like Spurs like I think it's incredible that we have someone like Conte to get his hands on a on a on a guy like that who's built the way he is and who has that kind of passion to play that's the thing for me that's like wow that's that's really good. 